Ted Carr's diet advice. Is it irresponsible? Is my is my advice irresponsible? Well, I sure hope not. I sure hope not. My advice, okay, first off, let's get this clear. I was just reading through the comments and I'm really excited to, to make this video. I doubt many people are gonna watch it who commented on PBA's channel because they probably don't care about what I have to say right now, but what PBA said in his video, a lot of things are not true based on what he said about me. He said that I said cooked food is like toxic and poison. I don't think that. I think you can live on cooked food for many, many, many months and years, totally fine. I really do. If if I wasn't eating fruit, coconuts, fruit and coconuts, then I really would be eating, you know, steamed and cooked uh, roots and veggies and fruit. Cooked fruit, cooked roots, cooked veggies. So I would eat cooked food if I did not have access to the best fruit in the world. I would eat cooked food if I didn't have access to the best fruit in the world. But because I do have access to this, but because I can afford it, and because I am in Thailand where I can get it locally and amazingly easily, then I just eat fruit. That's why I eat fruit. Because it's so easy for me, it tastes so good, it makes me feel so good, so alive. But if I had to eat cooked food, I totally would without thinking it was toxic, without thinking it's poison. So that's the first thing off the bat. Cooked food, I don't think it's toxic, I don't think it's poisonous, but in my experience, it has had the exact same drug-like effect as when I used to smoke cigarettes, as when I used to smoke marijuana, as when I used to drink coffee and green tea, okay? Caffeine is addicting, we know this. Caffeine is addicting, we know this. Nicotine is addicting, we know this. Scientists have proven this. It's, it's obvious, nicotine and caffeine, these things are addictive. However, however, some people, most people actually, do not get addicted to caffeine because maybe they haven't consumed enough of it. So they just don't get addicted to it like my dad who drinks it every single day. And with, with, with uh, nicotine, some people can smoke a couple cigarettes every now and then, no problem, they don't get addicted. While others, they smoke and smoke and smoke and they just fall in love with it right away and they don't stop. Same with marijuana. I used to smoke it every single day. Not because I wanted to, but because I had to. In fact, I could not sleep unless I smoked it. Now, I'd go every weekend with friends and they'd only smoke it on weekends. They'd be weekend smokers. Or maybe once a month, once every big party or something, they'd smoke it. But they wouldn't get addicted like I was. So, certain drugs you can get addicted to very quickly. Other drugs you don't get addicted to. I got friends who do some cocaine every now and then. I got other friends who do cocaine every single day. <sighs> not good. But with cooked food, it was the same. With me, I was the type of eater who would eat myself into submission. I would get to the point where I was so stuffed on rice, so stuffed on beans, and yes, so stuffed on broccoli that I would be laying in the floor in pain, in agony, honestly in agony. I'd wanna call 911 and say, seriously help me out, I'm, I'm hurting here, I'm hurting. It would be that bad, it would be that bad. And guess what I would do when I'd get off, off the floor finally, oh I can walk now. I'd walk straight back to the oven, I'd walk straight back to the stove, and I would eat some more. I would feel so dirty and I'd have to keep doing it. So, I know my mom is not like this, my sister is not like this, my, my dad is, doesn't eat like this, most of you watching this do not eat like this. You guys can keep yourself in, under control. But there are other people in the world, not just myself, there are other people in the world who send me messages weekly saying, Ted, I've been having some binge episodes with cooked food. Ted, I don't want to eat these potatoes, but I'm just so drawn to it, so attached to it, that they, they can't help themselves. They can't help themselves, and they need help. So I'm here to provide that help. I'm here to provide, the set an example, to be the lighthouse, to say, hey, you know what? It is possible to get off your cooked food addictions, if you have a cooked food addiction. Get off your cooked food addictions and just do it totally raw. You don't have to do no greens, you don't have to do no veggies, but you can do it no raw, very, very, very simply. It can be a very, very simple diet. Now, it's not easy. Eating raw is not easy. And that's why people are like, Ted, you know, your advice is, is really great and all, but you know what? There's, there's, not, there's not very any great chance that many people are gonna do this diet because it just takes way too much self-discipline and will. Well, that's great for the people who don't wanna do it, but there are thousands, I'd say there are millions of people that once they find out about this lifestyle that it is possible, they want to do it. They just can't seem to get off the cooked food. They just can't seem to get off the cooked food. And Rotel 4, when Rotel 4 first came out, Rotel 4 is massive now, when it first came out, it was used as a stepping stone, saying, hey, don't go from cooked food to raw food. Go from cooked food to Rotel 4 and then transition to raw food. And now Rotel 4 is like this massive, massive thing. People are just 
coming from straight cook food to raw to four and they just stay in there. That's cool. They can do that. When they do decide, if they do decide to go raw, it'll be much easier for them because they've been doing raw to four for so long. In fact, that's how I transitioned off marijuana. I did not just quit cold turkey. I said, okay, you know what? I'm not going to have it first thing in the morning. I'm not going to have it for lunch. I'm just going to have it in the vaporized form right before bed. So I'd go all day, no weed, no weed, no weed, and then right before bed, have some weed, boom, fall asleep, no problem. Did that for a few years, and then finally I said, okay, I don't need it before bed. But even then, I went three nights without sleeping when I finally decided not going to do it before bed. And after that, I was home free. Oh, it still feels good not to be addicted to weed. So, cook food, same thing. I tried to transition. There was no raw till four when I did fully raw. There was no raw till four back a few years ago. So when I went fully raw, I had to pretty much do it cold turkey. I didn't know about raw till four. And, uh, you know, I'd be raw for a month, two months, three months, and then when I have some cooked food for dinner one night, boom, next morning I'd wake up, cook food, cook food, cook food, cook food, cook food all day. I'd have like 10% of my day would be raw. Most of it just cooked. I remember going to bed one night after eating so many cashews, just so sick, so sick to my stomach, so nauseous. I'd wake up the next morning, eat from the same bag of cashews that knocked me out the night before, and immediately almost wanted to puke. Just disgusting. I'm disgusted with myself. I am disgusted. I was disgusted with myself. I'm in love with myself now, the way I eat. I love the way I eat now. I could not be better in my opinion. I eat fruits and coconuts. So, anyways, I didn't do raw till four. I just tried to quit cold turkey and it didn't work. It was so hard. It was so hard. It took me so many attempts, so many attempts. I probably attempted to go fully raw 30, 40, 50 times until I finally broke through, broke, broke free and, and did it now. Uh, so I'm very happy about that. But I do suggest my advice, people say my advice is irresponsible. You guys may not even know my advice. I advise people to take one, two, three, four, five years to transition to this diet. Do not do what I did and try and do it overnight. Take your damn time and transition. I suggest cutting out one food at a time if you want. If, if you don't feel good on potatoes, cut them out. If you don't feel good on rice, cut them out. Replace them with sweet potatoes. Replace them with beans. Replace them with cooked carrots and broccoli and things like that. I don't say not eat them, ever, ever, ever. Personally, I don't. Personally, I don't. I, I don't drive uh, NASCAR ra car racing. I don't drive NASCAR cars either, but I don't, I'm not against people who drive NASCAR. It's cool. If you want to drive NASCAR, drive NASCAR. I personally like to, to ride my bike there. But another story, another video. Why don't I eat greens then? Why am I so, why am I so dogmatic? Why am I so dogmatic? Uh, personally, for me, fruits and coconuts make me feel amazing. The greens here are wilty greens. I'm not attracted to them at all. If I went back to Canada, I would probably eat some greens. The greens in Canada are great. They're very attractive. They're very attractive. The greens here are wilted, dead. I have no desire for them. I'm just totally in love with my dragon fruits. I have so many dragon fruits. Big box here, big box here, big box here. You know, I just load up on this stuff. I stock up, that's how I get it done. Always have fruit on hand. Zero excuses. Now, yeah, and when it comes to deficiencies, people say, Ted, again, your diet advice is great, but you know, you can't live on fruit. You can't just live on fruit. That is an opinion because I'm doing it. The opinion is you can't live on fruit. The fact is I've been living on just fruit now for over seven months. I got friends who've been doing it for many, many years. So it's a fact that you can live on fruit. It's opinion that you can't do it long term. It was an opinion for so long. Scientists held the opinion that you could not run a minute, you could not run a mile under four minutes. Guess who did it? Guess who didn't buy into that? Roger Bannister. Guess what happened after Roger Bannister did it? Many hundreds of thousands of people are now, maybe not hundreds of thousands, but many thousands of people, even high school students, are running sub four minute miles because someone proved it was done. So I am here to prove that this is possible. I'm here to prove that you can live on just fruit. I do eat some coconuts every now and then too. I eat quite a bit. I eat coconuts every single day, drink and eat the meat. But uh, yeah, you can do it. I am doing it. Now, long term, what does long term even mean? If I can do it for seven months, that's pretty damn long term. You can't go seven months without oxygen. You can't go seven months without sleep. You can't go seven months just sitting totally still. You know, you gotta move or you go crazy. You can't go seven months without talking to anyone or you go absolutely insane. Like, human, human connection is more important than vegetables. Human connection, being able to make these videos and express to one another, being able to hug someone, being able to see someone, eye contact with someone, connect from the heart with someone, is more important than vegetables. It's more necess 
necessary than eating vegetables. I'm proving that, man. I'm proving that. So, anyways, uh, I'm glad you made the video anyway, PBA, because you've, you've, you know, you've expanded the awareness of people and you actually introduced the word fraternism to them, so that's pretty cool. But what you said about me, a lot of the stuff isn't true, man. Uh, when it comes to deficiencies, when it comes to B12 deficiencies, I suggest getting supped up and take some injectables, get your levels up. If you're low on iron, take some iron while at the same time improving your diet. Improve your diet. Get to the root cause of it, improve your diet. Not against supplements, not against any of that stuff. Do what works. This diet, this lifestyle is a, is a lifestyle. It's not about what's right or wrong, it's about what works. It's about what works. So for me, I do what works. I suggest other people do what works as well. If you think my advice is irresponsible, uh, I don't know why you'd think that, because I just suggest doing what works. Uh, anyways, peace. Hope you guys uh, got something out of this video. Ride your bikes.